coming. So the plan here is to try and get a uh, understanding of where the trees and everything are. I'm standing next to the uh, the dome. So this is the Autolight app here has this capability to log as I turn. So I'm going to work with every five degree of angular motion. I think that's probably good enough. And just kind of trace where the trees are. Hopefully we'll get a bit of leeway. Oh, back at north. So, I believe at this point, I'm going to send the log to my email. And hopefully we'll now be able to go and create an artificial horizon in uh, Cut to Seal. Okay, so we have opened the file that was emailed. And let's have a look at what it's made up of. All right, we've got locations, altitude, which isn't really not going to change. Our heading, which is what we're going to need, uh, and I think there the vertical is what we're going to need. So let's get rid of all the other columns. Uh, now I did make sure that when I was running the app that it was set to be running true north not magnetic north so that should be fine um all right i think what we want to do is i'm just going to num just sort these Headings at the bottom, it doesn't really matter, we're not going to need those anyway. All right, and that way we've got them in order. Then, what we want to do is just put a little formula together to make sure there's no duplications. So, we'll just go this is equal to this and Uh, fill that down. So basically, we're not going to get rid of any that are duplicated. We can just average whatever the number is. So, okay, so we've got a couple of those. I'll err, err on the side of caution and uh, go for the one that's higher. So, we'll get rid of this one. And when you do this, you have to fill back down because everything's going to be out of whack. And we'll get rid of that one. Let's get rid of those. Oh, wrong one. I'll get rid of both of those. All right. 
looks good. Looks like we've got rid of all the duplications. Let's get rid of those columns that we don't need. And then what I'm going to do is copy all these values into um, into text file, which we're going to put into CDC. Alrighty, so this is the file um, from the CDC directory. Uh, on my observatory PC, it's installed at this location, Program Files x86 CL Data Horizon. I copied the one that's uh, in there, which is for Geneva, um, and I've just stripped out the bits that I don't need, put some comments in with these uh, hashes at the front, and then just pasted this set of values. And we're going to save that, I'm going to go and open CDC. Get this file working I've copied it into the same directory uh, you may end up finding that there's a permission issue because it's in the program files directory you'll have to change the permissions in that directory to allow you to edit and copy so you do that in Windows I'm going to just show you how to do that you need to work that out got the file ready um, just want to make note too that I went back through because when I copy them in from Excel um, it actually pasted tabs in here. So I went and replaced all the tabs with a single space. Um, I think because I, I was having trouble with it when there were tabs. So, um, yep, just get through there and make sure that you've got them as spaces. So go in here under observatory, we would go to the horizon. We are going to go and pick the file, hit, so it looks like there's a gap just at the beginning there, uh, I think we'll quit out and come back in and see if that, uh, uh, after a tiny bit of further investigation, uh, I was able to work out that the actual issue there was that there were a couple of negative values uh, right at the beginning uh, of the recording. Um, so I had to just go and pull those out. Um, so what I really want to achieve is be able to know when something is going to be coming up during the evening. So right now it's obscured. So what we want to do is we want to change the setting. So it shows uh, the stars below the horizon or the object below the horizon so you can still see them um, prior to them coming up. So what triggered all of this, uh, in fact this entire project today was the fact that last night I was trying to image uh, this uh, object and when I went to start um, it was behind trees. So I didn't really know when it was going to rise. So in the end, that turned out to be uh, about 11-ish uh, or about quarter to 11 at night. So uh, what I'm going to do now is we can see, based on what um, the new horizon is, uh, that down the bottom, um, it's telling me that um, it will rise at uh, 23, uh, 23 hours, 23 minutes, so 11, 23. So if we kind of just move forward in, uh, in time, um, we'll be able to see here that um, it, it'll pop out uh, above the horizon, the trees, um, at that time. Okay, so that is the process of creating the local horizon image. Uh, I'll give this a test tonight and make sure it uh, operates how I expect. It's worth noting that the file format that is uh, used here is the same for Stellarium. So you can just 
grab a copy of this file um, and if you use Stellarium um, you can put that in uh, its horizon directory uh, you'll need to go and uh, look up the documentation about where, where that is uh, and place it in there and you'll be able to use that as a um, horizon viewer in Stellarium if that's the program that you choose to use. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been useful.